All right, so because you're watching this tutorial, you know, I would assume you have a project file open with a viewport frame, you know, somewhere on the screen. But, you know, in case you don't have a viewport frame, you know, in case you're you're weird, you're stupid, um, I'll just add one. Starter GUI, screen GUI, and then inside the screen GUI, I'm going to add a viewport frame. And then I'm just going to make it scaled. So size, instead of this, I'll just make it 1010. Zero, zero. It's, it's going to be here. This is our viewport frame. Just position it wherever, right? So the viewport frame is similar to a regular frame, right? So, you know, if you look at the properties, we have the, um, you know, background color, background transparency, stuff like that, which I will set the background transparency to be semi, like so. The difference between a viewport frame is that you can place in like a model or a part and a camera. And then like, if you, you know, like tweak the positions and rotations of both the model and the camera, the viewport frame will like show you what the camera sees. So let me show you what I mean. If I make a sphere, right? I'll make a sphere. And then I take the sphere and I'm going to place it inside the viewport frame. And then also inside the viewport frame, I'm going to add a camera like instance. So this is all we need inside a viewport frame, basically just the camera and like some physical part. Um, I'm going to set the camera's position to be zero, zero, zero. And I'll set the sphere's position to also be zero, 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 like so. So now both of them are inside one another. Um, the next thing you do is you go to viewport frame and you just set its current camera property to be the camera, like so. And if you can see, the sphere is right there, actually. <laughs> so it's right over there. So if I take the camera and if I start tweaking the position... Oh, wait, why is the camera... Wait. Okay, you know, it's fine. Um, if I take the camera and I start... See, there we go. And if I change the orientation to be zero, 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 that's kind of looking here. And then I can change the Y to be, let's see what happens. So if I set it to zero, it's going to be here. And then on the Z, see, so this is us on the Z axis. So now we're moving closer to it. And, you know, you, you can do the same with the part as well. So you can change the position of the part. So I could set its X to be two and it moves over here like so. Um, or I could set its Y to be 2 and it moves up, right? Or I could set its Z to be like 5 and then it um, it gets closer or further from us, right? So basically that's all there is really you need to know about viewport frames. You add on a camera and a part. You set um, the viewport's frame, like current camera property to be, you know, this camera. You set both of their positions and orientations to 0. Um, meaning that, you know, they're both in one position, so the camera will likely be inside of the part, so you may not see it. Besides that, the viewport frame acts like any other viewport frame would, so you can add a UI stroke to it, for example, right? Um, and then, yeah, like this, I can make it, like, thick. You could add in a UI corner, right? Like that, and I can just make it huge, like that. Um, yeah, and then that's basically what a viewport frame is. It's just a normal frame, but you can add in a camera and a part, and then, you know, by setting both of their positions to the same position and then, you know, slightly tweaking the properties of, um, I like tweaking the properties of the camera myself, but you could do it with the part as well up to you. And then you get this, right? So I used the, I used the sphere for my example, but this very easily could be a, um, let me, this could be a, a block. This could be a cylinder, right? Or a corner wedge, wedge, cylinder, right? So you, like, again, you can put any part, any model inside of this and it will show. Um, and yeah, that's basically, I guess, all there is to know about viewport frames. So I'll delete the frame, I'll delete the screen GUI, and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.